Hi and welcome again to itauthority.tv. This is not a, uh, a trick, it's just a lamp. Um, yeah, this lamp is going to be part of the demonstration, which is why it's here, but I tell you what, you probably don't need it in your face, do you? So let's just angle it round onto the piece of equipment that we're going to be talking about, which is something called a UPS. Today, I'm just going to explain very briefly in two minutes flat what a UPS does and demonstrate it working for you. And you'll understand, hopefully at the end of this, why I think you need them. Not everybody does, but you might. You can decide for yourself. Stay tuned. Right, so a UPS, really quick. A UPS stands for Uninterruptible Power Supply, and it means exactly that. Here's a lamp, it's plugged into this power supply, which in turn is fed down here into a wall socket, which if I unplug just here, this unit starts to beep because it's now running on the battery, and this lamp is still functioning quite happily. Um, how long will the battery last? Well, if it's running a little lamp like this, it's quite bright, uh, as you can see. Um, it's going to last quite a long time, actually. It's probably about 20 minutes or more. Um, what are these for? Well, they're for uh, if you've got, like us, we have wobbly electric. What do I mean by wobbly electric? I mean the electricity supply is not constant. It should be around 240 volts in the UK. And uh, what tends to happen, because we're on a farm in the middle of nowhere, is somewhere down the lane a tree will blow and it will hit a power line and the power will fluctuate, it will clip out for less than a second or two and then it will come back on. And, then, uh, and, and meanwhile, if we didn't have these little units running on all our computers, we would have lost an awful lot of work. We have one of these on every machine. Um, not every business is going to need one of these on every machine, but they're only 60 pounds. This particular unit, has two sections. It has a section here for surge protection only. This section here is battery backup. So I would, on a standard size PC, if it had two monitors, for example, I'd put the second monitor in the surge protection so it's not draining the battery. I'd put the primary monitor in there and I'd put the PC in there. And then that way, if the electricity goes off, you can still close down and save your work. Now, if you've got a network, a larger situation, then obviously we use much bigger UPSs and we use uh, what we call network UPSs in, in large buildings. Um, but typically uh, for a small home business or, or a small business with four or five uh, PCs, uh, just put one of these under every desk and it will sort you right out. This is a 400 unit. It's the smallest size that we recommend using. And this is for a standard uh, PC with a single hard drive in it and a, probably a single monitor. If you've got a PC that has a larger demand for power, i.e. it's got multiple hard drives in it, or perhaps um, it's a very high powered machine like an iCore 7 or something like that, then you might wanna go with the next model up, which is a 550, and it's probably another 10 pounds more. Uh, the 750 or 700 unit uh, is probably capable of running one or two uh, machines quite happily um, without you losing all your work for the, for the minute or two that you, it takes to save everything. It's really, um, it's really well worth it. Um, the other thing about power is, if it, particularly PCs, are very sensitive to fluctuations in power. So if the power just does what we call a brownout, a blackout everyone's familiar with, uh, it's all the lights go out, right? Everything goes off, uh, that's called a blackout. A brownout really does exist, it's not something I just made up, it's when the power just dips below the 230 volts here in the UK. That would put undue stress and strain on the power supply that's feeding the PC and they tend to blow. And even though the, the power only goes down for a little bit and it comes back up again, the PC goes off and it won't ever come back on until somebody comes out and changes the power supply. And one of these little babies for 60 pounds solves all of that. So well worth a, well worth a, a small investment. Uh, I'm gonna plug this one back in again so that you can see that once the power's restored, absolutely nothing happens. It literally, the power went off, the power came back on again, the lamp didn't go out at any time. Um, there's no drivers to install, there's no software uh, with this particular model. You can get what we call smart UPSs, and those are ones that will in instruct your PC to shut itself down in the event that it's, the battery's running low. But um, they're a bit more pricey, not a lot, but probably 20 or 30 pounds a unit more. Uh, and 
is, is probably unnecessary um, for a lot of people. Smart UPSs are very good for servers because no one thinks to go and shut down the server. Whereas um, if you've got a server and it's got a UPS unit, uh, a smart UPS will send a signal to the server to say, look, I've got, I'm on battery power, I've got 15 minutes to run. And then when it gets to five minutes to run, it'll say, right, I'm on battery power, I've got five minutes left to run, shut down now. And it will safely shut down the server rather than just let the power go like that. So they're quite handy. This isn't one of those, this is a simple unit. If you found this information useful, uh, if this has explained something to you that you didn't know existed or, or, or wasn't sure what that terminology was, Please uh, like this video or possibly even better, give us a mention on LinkedIn. Uh, we get a lot of business through LinkedIn, so it would really help us. Um, and why not subscribe to the channel? We have new videos coming out every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't miss out. We've got some great content lined up. We've got some interviews with some industry leaders and things like that in, in the pipeline. Um, and uh, it's going to be real good. So it'll be great to see you here again. If you do have any questions, please just comment on the video and I will answer your comments, I promise you. So thanks very much. Uh, all that's left for me to say is thanks for taking the time to watch.